So hey, I do a lot of camping and I used to do a lot of hiking. When I first went out to the property, I took one of my lightweight hiking pads and it wouldn't hold air. So I had to make an emergency run into Walmart and I found this pad, brought it back, and it was a queen size pad initially, and I really liked it. So since then, I bought another queen size and two twins uh, that we use for the family as they go out. Me and my girlfriend, we prefer the two twins, but we uh, we really enjoyed this. It's got some unique features and it's very comfortable. So I just wanted to do a quick review so that you guys uh, could possibly evaluate this as an option for you. So I found these uh, Coleman air mattresses. So one of the things that uh, most people don't like about sleeping in, uh, on the ground in a tent is that the ground's hard and you wind up with one of the thin uh, tents uh, sleeping pads. And if you're like me in a side sleeper, then that hurts your shoulder and your hip. It's just definitely not comfortable. So I looked around and I found this tent and or uh, this sleeping pad and I was super impressed with this. Obviously, once again, this is not a backpacking solution, but for uh, tenting in a Jeep, this is beautiful. So let me get this out and show you. It comes in this nice bag. It's oversized, so it's not a problem getting it in there. go this is a twin and they also have queens now I've not seen the twins available lately but uh, the queens have been available I bought some for the kids um, but my girlfriend and I we like to sleep you know, on the twins side by side that way nobody's hogging covers that comes with this handy dandy little inflator it's battery only so you can't hook it up to any of your electrical sources which is a bummer one thing I didn't like about it is the on off switch is exposed so sometimes when it's in the bag you'll hear it running and obviously you run a risk of having a dead battery when you get into camp but it's got a, a large valve and the valve when it's pushed in will not let the air out when it's pulled out like this it'll let air in and out so you just put that on there ah and see my Oh, there it goes. So it inflates pretty fast. And then it's not super easy to get the, the nozzle to collapse so that the air won't come out, but it's not too bad. So I've got that filled up good and firm. I can I can hear the motor straining to push air in. So then I just push the pin in and it's sealed. I think I banged this uh, little air compressor around a little bit too hard a couple of times. It's not, uh, not doing too well. So there you go. As you can see, that's a fairly thick mattress and it has a zip off pad. One of the things that I like about it the most, you can zip this pad off, you can launder it, put it back on, but because of the thickness of the pad and the thickness of the mattress itself, it provides really good insulation from the cold on the ground. So there's quite a bit of R value here, makes for a very nice sleeping pad. So that's the basic camp setup as it is. I've used this three or four times now. And of course, I've used this air mattress probably five or six times, uh, actually more like nine or ten times. But uh, it's got quite a bit of use, and I really do like this setup. So there you go. So I really like these air mattresses. They've uh, been very useful for us for car camping. I paid about 
$80 for the twins and about $120 for the queen. The R value comes in at 2.75, and I find that if you use a closed foam cell pad underneath of it, you'll extend that R value even higher. So they're great pads. Uh, you might want to consider this if you're looking for a uh, sleeping pad. We're going to be purchasing a USB rechargeable pump. As you saw, I was having issues with the pump, and I didn't like the fact that it turns on quite often in the bag and you wind up with a dead battery. So, uh, But the, overall, the mattress is pretty high quality, and I highly recommend it for any kind of car camping. Thanks for watching. Do all the good YouTube stuff. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.